welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do uh, your weekly reading. This is August 10th through August 11th. Uh, everything you need to know is in the description box, how to request a personal reading, uh, my video playlist, and then also the giveaway. I'm giving away two personal readings. To enter, you just need to subscribe, like, and comment. I do do a uh, winner's video the first week um, of every month. So let's get started here, Libra. Thank you for your all your comments, your support. I appreciate it. Um, and here we go. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. I pray that this reading for Leo is for the highest good and purest intentions. I pray that you give Leo that I mean Leo that Libra the accurate messages. They need to know for their reading. I pray that this will give them clarity and healing if needed. I thank you for your love, your wisdom, and your guidance. And may they only may there only be love and light here. Amen. All right. So let's get one card here for Libra. All right. And then we're gonna pull one card here. Oh, all right. Thank you, angels and spirit. What message do you have here for Libra? Let's get one card. All right. So we have the nine of Gabrielle here. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility environmental activism. Okay. So this is an indication that um, I feel here, this is an indication, this can be something that you have some dream, you have some goal, um, you have something that you're working towards, okay? Uh, you could be um, into uh, environmentalism, this could be your life purpose here, but I feel like there's some, um, some goal that you've been working towards, you've been putting time and effort into, Okay, and this is about staying focused and staying determined, okay? Now, you also have here from the angel answer deck you have within the next few weeks, okay? So this can give you some timing if you're waiting for some sort of result um, or, you know, can't even be financial, some type of gain from this situation. I feel here that your angels are giving you some timing. You just hold on, okay? You may be feeling like you've been waiting and waiting, um, but this is about you still having patience. Don't give up because there is something coming here within the next few weeks. And remember with the weeklies, anything goes, can be love, career, finances, um, you know, situations with family and friends. And if you're dealing with a specific person, roles can be reversed. So just take the messages, how they resonate with you. All right, so let's pull some tarot now. Um, let's cut these cards. I hope everyone's having a great weekend and start of the week. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Libra in love? What messages... Do you have for Libra in love? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. Okay, beautiful energy there. You have the Sun card. Could be dealing with a Leo, or you could have Leo in your chart. We have the Knight of Swords. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. And you have the High Priestess here. Okay, bottom of the deck here, we have the Seven of Swords, okay? All right, with these cards here, with the Seven of Swords, I feel here this is, um, you know, I don't feel any negative energy here or, you know, um, someone around you that's sneaky or any of that kind of energy. This can also be a card of strategy here where somebody um, is kind of, almost putting together their best thoughts, their best ideas here about the situation, you know, trying to take the best uh, ideas that they have in the situation um, and really uh, put it to work here, okay? 
And then they're leaving those other ideas and things that, you know, maybe may not seem as profitable or, uh, you know, as important, I would say here. Okay, now you have here first the Sun card. Okay, so this is beautiful energy here. This tells me that definitely you are going to have success in the situation. There is going to be peace, happiness, and joy here. Uh, you know, within the, the next few weeks here. So be patient. You have the Knight of Swords. So I do feel here there may be some communication that's coming in this week. Okay, that's going to also make you feel very happy. Okay, and keep you keep you focused on moving forward. All right, with your goals here. This can also give you some clarity or wisdom that you need to um, help you um, with your strategy of ideas. And then we have here the high priestess. So with all of that too, I feel like, you know, you are being guided here. You are listening to your intuition. This is um, about, you know, being insightful. Now this can also be something that is unknown to you, can be, um, you know, can be with the seven of swords, can be something that's upcoming that um, is revealed or unknown to you as well. There's also two letters on this card, um, J and B. So, you know, this can be significant to you, whether uh, you're dealing with a person, a place, or, you know, some sort of, of thing that is significant as well, all right? Okay, so let's pull three more cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Libra, August 10th through the 16th? What messages do you have for Libra? Okay, we got one, two, three, four cards. All right, bottom of the deck, the moon card. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Again, yeah, there could be something unknown here that is going to come to light. All right. Okay, let's see what you got here. All right. So, you know, with the moon card too, this can be a feeling of having, you know, going through an emotional time here, whatever your situation here, whatever you've been working hard for, or whatever you've been waiting for. Um, I feel like there is um, a lot of emotion with it as well. Okay. For some of you, you may have some fears here as well about the situation, how this situation is going to turn out for you. Now, the beautiful thing here you have is the Ten of Cups, okay? You have the Ten of Cups and you have the High Priestess card, all right? I do feel here you're manifesting this happiness into your life here. The Ten of Cups here fell with the um, Sun card. So I'm getting here that you are manifesting, you know, something that is beautiful and something that is going to bring emotional happiness to you. It can even be something that is going to benefit your family as well, okay, and bring some happiness. Um, something that you've been working on and something that you've been, you know, hoping for here, okay? So the next two cards that you have, you have the Star card and you have the Two of Swords. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini, all right? Uh, this fell here with the um, High Priestess. Okay, so I feel like there may be something that comes to light here, something that you have to make some sort of decision or that you may have a situation right now that you need to make a decision, but maybe you have not received all the clarity yet. But I do see here some clarity coming in, all right? And I do feel like you're manifesting this. Um, with the star card, this can also, um, you know, be about healing. Okay, there may be a situation that you're healing from, all right, and whatever this communication comes in for you, maybe something that you have to make a decision, but there's fear around it, because through that healing, there was some sort of hurt that is attached to it, is what I'm getting here. So I feel like you're really going to use your intuition here in making this decision, whatever it is, okay? And as I said, I do feel here there is some fear about it, okay? For some of you, I feel like this could just be um, not knowing how the situation is going to turn out, if all of your hard work and your time invested in this situation um, is really going to pay off, 
Um, so I feel like a lot of this too can be just fear of the unknown here, okay? Um, what's going to uh, happen within the next few weeks, okay? So let's get three cards here. Um, three cards here for Libra. What other clarity can you give uh, Libra or what other message messages? Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Okay, so we have a Passion Ignited. We have positive movement forward. And we have heartache and loss. Okay. Look at you have at the bottom of the deck. You have intuition again. Okay. Definitely here saying you need to use your intuition. Okay. So the first card that we have is passion ignited. And that's what I was saying here with the sun card and the ten of cups. I feel like this is something that's going to make you feel emotionally good for some of you this can be about you going after your passion here all right we talked about here there's something that you've been focused on something that you're going after here working on putting time and effort um, sometimes feeling like you want to give up this can be your life purpose okay for some of you this can be about environmentalism so this is beautiful energy here I feel here that whatever this new passion is or whatever this passion you've been pursuing is going to pay off, is going to make you very, very happy. We have here positive movement forward, okay? So I do feel like you're manifesting this situation. There is um, clarity coming and I feel like it's going to be positive here. They're saying you're going to, it's going to be positive. Look at that. You're, hit, you're headed towards the sunset. For some of you, this can be a romantic situation. Uh, for others, again, this can just be about your career or your passion here, all right? But this is peaceful energy, positive, peaceful energy. Now, we have heartache and loss, and I feel here the heartache and loss is what's bringing about these fears here for you, okay? Making you indecisive about the situation, okay? So there may be some clarity that's needed. Um, you, you know... You may just need to do more healing in the situation, but there's definitely some fears here, okay? So um, I feel here it's positive. I feel like maybe fear and hurt may be holding you back in the situation or fear of just the unknown, okay? But it all looks pretty uh, positive here for you, Libra. Okay, so we're going to do now what's the possible outcome in the situation for Libra. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What is the possible outcome here for Libra? Now, remember, possible outcome can change based on the decisions you make or the decisions uh, the person you're dealing with makes. Let's get three cards here for Libra. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords. We have the Knight of Cups. Look at this. We got this worry here for you. Let's, um, why is the nine of swords here, please? Okay. Bottom of the deck here, we have the queen of cups. Could be dealing with a cancer here. Okay. So I feel here definitely there is going to be some communication with this page of swords. All right. Um, this can be a situation to... Um, where, you know, this can be something new for you. This can also be a situation um, where social media is involved here or you doing research on social media about your passion. Can also be somebody around you who is, um, you know, kind of doing some spying on you. Um, but we also have here the Knight of Cups, okay, and positive movement forward, all right? Definitely get here that there is um, some opportunity, some proposal coming your way. Now, whether this is love or this is not love, it's going to put you in a place where you're going to feel peaceful and you're going to feel happy, all right? This is also a romantic gesture. So if this is love for you, I do feel like it's coming your way. Can be a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces. Now look at this. Here are the fears again. Nine of Swords and the Temperance card. I feel like you're going to be trying to balance out your emotions in this situation. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius uh, or Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. All right. 
Okay, Libra, I feel like it's going to balance out for you. I just feel you have fears about the situation. Let's um, pull one card here from Archangel Michael and see what message uh, Archangel Michael has for you. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for your guidance. What message do you have here for Libra? What message do you have for Libra? There it is. Okay. Pay attention to your dreams. Okay, so this is a message about you gaining insight. I talked about here with the high priestess that you are very intuitive right now and spirit is guiding you. Okay, so this is your inner uh, guidance as well, but um, spirit may also send you messages here through th your thoughts and your feelings to help you as well. So they're saying to you, Archangel Michael is saying to you to definitely um, pay attention to your dreams, okay, because there may be messages that are there for you to help you in this situation. He may be sending you vibrations of love and protection as well to help you get past this fear that you have, all right? Now, um, there is a prayer here if you want to say it with me. It says, thank you for tucking me into bed tonight and helping me enjoy a wonderful, restful night's sleep. Archangel Michael, I invite you into my dreams as my teacher, guide, and healer. Please allow me to understand this. Describe a specific situation on a spiritual level and give me guidance. Okay, so beautiful message there from Archangel Michael. I hope you gained some clarity here, Libra. Um, again, if you want to enter for the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.